4 to watch. T 4 to watch. Team USA favored in several events. Day 15 of the Olympic Games features Team USA in the women's gold medal basketball game. A triathlon favorite from Team USA. The final of the men's 10-meter platform diving and the final day of competition in track and field. Here are four of the biggest things to watch during the Summer Games Saturday 1. Team USA Women's Basketball takes on Spain in gold medal game after beating France 86-67 in the semifinals. Team USA will face Spain with a gold medal on the line. The US and Spain played in the preliminary round and the US won that one by 40. The Americans also beat Spain in the 2014 World Championship by 13. Starting point guard Sue Bird's status for the game is unclear. She was sidelined with a knee injury against France. The U.S. remains undefeated in the tournament and won its 48th consecutive game in Olympic play. How to CIT catch the gold medal game live online or on NBC's daytime coverage at 2.30 p.m. 2. Gwen Jorgensen races for first U.S. Olympic triathlon medal since 2004. Gwen Jorgensen won back-to-back -back triathlon world championship titles in 2014 and 2015. She won her final five World Triathlon Series races of 2014 and went undefeated in her seven World Triathlon Series races in 2015. In Australia this year, Jorgensen lost her first race since 2014 to Great Britain's Helen Jenkins, who built up a big enough lead on the bike to win by 41 seconds. Jorgensen's greatest strength is her running speed. She recorded the fastest run leg in all seven of her World Triathlon Series races in 2015. She was named the USA Triathlon Athlete of the Year in 2013, 2014 and 2015. In Rio, Jorgensen will have extra motivation. A flat bike tire caused her to finish 38th at the 2012 London Olympics. How to CIT? Catch Jorgensen live online or on NBC's daytime coverages. Coverage of the triathlon begins at 10 a.m. 3. David Booty attempts to defend 2012 platform gold after barely making the 10 meters platform final at the 2012 Olympics. David Booty became the United States' first Olympic diving gold medalist in more than a decade. He also took home a bronze in the synchronized 10 meters event with partner Nick McCrory. Now he's looking for repeat gold. Booty overcame a poor third dive to qualify fourth in Friday's preliminaries. His legs smacked the water on a front four and a half somersaults tuck and he dropped from second after receiving the second lowest score in the round. Boudia already won silver in Rio with Steele Johnson in the synchronized 10 meter event. Johnson also made it through preliminaries in the 10 meter platform Friday. How to CIT? Catch Boudia's coverage of the 10 meters platform finals begins at 3.30 p.m. with diving coverage on air on both NBC's daytime and primetime coverage or watch it online. 4. U.S. Men. Women race for gold in 4 by 400 meters relays as track and field competitions conclude. Seven event finals are scheduled, including the men's and women's 4 by 400 meter relays. Allison Felix and the rest of the U.S. women look to defend their 2012 title. David Verberg, who ran at George Mason University, helped the U.S. men qualify in second Friday. How to CIT. Catch coverage of track and field events live online beginning at 7 p.m. and during NBC4 primetime.